Hi, my name is Mike, and I'm going to teach you how to create a recipe database in WordPress. To do this, we need to follow three steps. Set up a form for recipe submissions, create a grid view to display the recipes, and make the database searchable. In previous videos, we've made lots of forms, and in our restaurant menu video, we've made both forms and a grid view. I'll link to that video below in case you want more detail about the first two steps. But today, we're going to do all three. Let's get started. First, let's make the form. Formidable already has a recipe form template, so we'll start with that. It's got all the fields we want, but I'm going to make one small change to the description. There. I'll click Update to save. Okay, now we need to make a grid view. That name is fine, and we'll go to the Layout Builder. I have quite a few fields, so I'm going to add lots of rows and columns to fit them all. Once you've made it, click on one cell to assign it. I'll go through every cell and assign it an ID. If this seems too fast for you, feel free to check out the restaurant menu video. I go through this part a little slower. Here you can see my grilled cheese recipe in this new view. Off screen, I added an entry to see what my view would look like. Feel free to do the same at this step to make sure you're on the right track. Now I need to put this view on a page. I'll create a new page, title it Recipes, and add the formidable view block to the page. That's it, perfect. I'll publish, and now I need to make a new form that will be my search. I'm going to use the same recipe template. It may seem like a waste of time to do that and then delete almost every field, but I want to use the Cuisine field dropdown as a search, and I don't want to type all of the options the template already has. Okay, so I have my form. Go to the settings for the form, and under On Submit, change Show Message to Redirect to URL. Type in the URL for your page with the formidable view, followed by question mark cuisine equals quote, and then click the field ID, quote. Replace the word cuisine with a good description of whatever your field is. If you have multiple things you want to use to filter, use an ampersand and then type the next field description. Once you've done that, check the box to not store entries submitted, as this is just a search form. And then in Actions and Notifications, turn off the email action so you're not flooded with emails when people start searching for recipes. Update your form, and then go back to your view. Now we need our view to filter by our new search form. Click Filter Entries and choose the field you want to filter by, in our case Cuisine, and type Get Param equals Cuisine in brackets. The word Cuisine here is referring to the same thing I typed here in the URL redirect. Update the view. And now all we need to do is actually add that search form. Click Add Before Content. Here type the following, Formidable ID equals X minimize equals one in brackets. I'll put this code in the description below so you can copy paste if you want. Replace the X with the form ID of your search form. If you don't know the form ID of your search form, you can get it pretty easily from the URL when you open your search form to edit it. Update the view and let's try it out. Here's my recipe page. Let's search for something I don't have a recipe for to see if it works. Shoot, that's not what we want to see if there's no results. We want to see the search form. Go back to the view and under No Entries Message, put the exact same thing you put in Add Before Content. Now, when there's no results, you can still search for something else without needing to go back. But if there is a recipe, those show up. 
And that's how easy it is to make a recipe database in WordPress using formidable forms. Subscribe for more WordPress tips, and I'll see you next time.